Hello friends, welcome back. I am Agam and you are in my channel Agam's Tech Tricks. So, Microsoft has recently released a new feature of password manager in their Authenticator app and it's totally free. Like there are many password managers like LastPass at all and we can just create some passwords in that and they are limited. But Authenticator, it is totally free and we can save any passwords. So, let's start. First, we will install Microsoft Authenticator from the Play Store. If you don't have it already, type Authenticator here. It is usually for accepting your request to sign in on web page. But now this is a beta feature which is not currently rolled for, enrolled for the normal people. We have to uh, enroll in the beta, beta version. So you can see here, joining beta uh, earlier. If you have, when you will the open the screen, you can see this screen, join the beta. Okay, this screen, join the beta. So you have to click here, join, and then you can, uh, you will see joining the beta and you will see you are a beta tester now. So after doing this, just open your app from here. Cause it's lock, app lock is there. So I will click next. You can see this is a normal app. No tabs are there. Nothing is there. So now we have to enable password manager in date because it is beta version. So it is currently hidden and uh, we have to enable it in settings. Now we will scroll down and you can see this beta autofill. Autofill option under the beta group. Here autofill. Now we will just enable it. Now you can see that autofill turned on. To start using autofill, sign in with your Microsoft account. We will click get started because this feature only works with a Microsoft account as it's a Microsoft app. We will click get started. Now here you can see your email address. We will, your email address, we will, your, you will see this and you will click sync with your email address. Suppose this is my email address. So now you will click sync. Actually, what it does, it the password saved in Microsoft Edge, it will bring it here and can be used. So let us wait. You can see that this website is now here and the passwords are saved. I can just unlock it, but I don't want. So you can see this website, one password only I have saved in Microsoft Edge also I will show. You can see these passwords. You can see here also it is saved. So now you can see provide permission to start autofilling. It just shows the option but sometimes it gives the error and does not autofill. But let's do it. So we will go to here settings. It does not autofill but then also we can sometimes it autofills according to your app and sometimes it not because it is in beta version it is in currently testing. And we can only copy the passwords from here, from this page. We can click and click on the password. It will be copied. It will first ask your app lock. So go to settings. And you can see set as autofill provider. When you will turn it on, you will see this. All these providers are here. None, Google and Authenticator. So I will just click Authenticator here. Authenticator and okay so now screen lock so here also we have to enable autofill on more apps and sites for the capability of uh, autofilling it on the apps and websites it is in beta version not works that great so here we will we have gone to accessibility page it depends on your phone where is but you have to find authenticator and just enable it suppose more downloaded services here you can see authenticator option is there so you can just click it here and enable it here you can see this toggle enable it you can see this is showing the page what will it do observe your action detail window content so we will just click ok here and you can see it is now set up successfully. You can go back. 
screen lock. So now this is automatically the required biometric or pin is automatically checked. So we can see that Sololearn website uh, passwords has come. So we will click here and now all the passwords which you will save here will appear here. And if you want to see the password just click here and then click on your password and then click then this will say password copy to clipboard i will show you once again password copy to clipboard so now we can hide it and go back so this was the password you can when you will open the app this will be the main page and passwords you can see the password it will first time sync when you will close the app so thanks for watching my video Please don't forget to like and leave a comment on my video. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.